Hey, welcome back to the show that has no name. We apparently didn't take the time to come up with a name, but we're back doing it again. Today, we are going to be making some lamb with some potatoes, like herb, just rubbed something other potatoes. And then we're gonna make a homemade chimichurri. Potatoes are the thing I'm gonna do first because they're probably going to take the longest. So we wanna marinate them, get them ready. We're going to use the Hexglad griddle. Throw them in that bitch over there. Starting it off, adding some olive oil to make her nice and lubed up. What? I shouldn't say that. It sounds uncomfortable. We're gonna take some uh, oregano. Salt, pepper, onion, garlic, and some chives. We're gonna take our lid. Oh, and you know what? Most importantly, we're gonna spill the balsamic. That's like, if you don't do that, this meal, it's not gonna work. Mix up those potatoes. Okay, there we are. Now we're gonna take these, dump them on in there. Make sure to spread these out or else it won't cook properly. This, in the oven, I have it set to 425 right now. Try to burn your hand as much as you can on the way in. That's also another part of it. Lamb, we're gonna season it. The nice thing about this lamb too is I have never in my life cooked lamb. So we're all gonna be figuring it out together. Salt, pepper, onion, garlic, coat her nicely. Season the fat too. You might eat it, you never know. Now, putting it in a pan. You wanna get the pan super, super hot. I don't know if you've noticed, but we made an upgrade. We now uh, don't use that stove, we use this one. We're gonna dump all that olive oil in there, spread all that around. Lamb, in the pan, meat side down. Like so. This little sad boy broke, so he's gonna go over here. We're gonna let these sear for a little bit on each side. Base, get all that butter, garlic, rosemary, thyme. You wouldn't know that this was going on because the fire alarm uh, went off and we almost burnt the whole building down. Now we're going to flip this. Baste a little more. You wanna make sure you get all that rosemary, garlic, and thyme in there so that you can get that flavoring. In the oven we go. About eight minutes. Now we are going to make our chimichurri. You can make this in the blender or if you have like a food processor, it's probably a lot easier. All you really need to do is take some uh, cilantro and parsley and just start chopping it up to get it thin. Close as you can so that it really does grind up. Take all that. We're gonna go in here. Again, as much as you can on the countertop because why get it in the bowl? Now we're gonna go lemon. Get all that lemon juice in there. Rest of that oregano. Olive oil, balsamic, some chives, salt, pepper, onion, garlic. I think you usually do like, like a red wine vinegar, but I like balsamic. Mix this bitch up. The thinner you can get it, the better. For this specific dish, I don't mind having the thickness of it because this chimichurri is gonna act as a sauce for the lamb and for the potatoes, but it's also gonna work for me as a as almost like a little side salad. I like it a little little bit runnier, so I'm gonna put a little more olive oil in there. Just a tad bit, nothing crazy. Put that to the side. There are our potatoes. Look at that lamb. So we're gonna wanna get that uh, lamb out of the pan and let it rest. Don't want it to sit in the pan or else it'll obviously keep cooking too much. We don't want that. Hotter than shit. Use a tong, probably. Smarter than using your fucking paws. Just let it coat. Now we're gonna let this rest. Probably five or six minutes, at least. When you're plating this, you can stand it up like this, or you can do it the way I'm gonna do it, which is not that way. But we're gonna take our potatoes. If you cooked them right, they're almost like, they're like chips. Now we're gonna take this. What would look prettiest? Let's go like this. 
there, and there, and there. Take that. And then the final step, I forgot. Just literally take some sriracha. All right, and there you have it. Rack of lamb with potatoes and a homemade chimichurri. I've never made lamb, so who the hell knows how this is gonna taste. It could be disgusting, but you will not see me biting it. <laughs>